Okay, sorry. So do you ever feel like sometimes it's hard to wake up when you got eight or nine hours of sleep, yet when you got five or six hours of sleep, you can wake up super easy? Well, this isn't a random occurrence. This is because some phases of the sleep cycle are easier or harder to wake up in. So the phases are determined by what part of the sleep cycle you're in. So the two main phases are REM and non-REM phases of sleep. So these phases are constantly cycling between each other. And according to a Time Magazine article, the average sleep cycle is about 90 minutes long, though it can range between 70 to 120 minutes. Also, certain parts of the sleep cycle are easier or harder to wake up in. And according to a Harvard article on healthy sleep, the best time to wake up is during your non-REM stage of sleep because you'll feel the least groggy. So I decided to tackle the problem of how someone can wake up in the lightest phase of sleep. So one thing I had to work with was according to an article by the Mayo Clinic, the, during your REM stage of sleep, you have almost no movement, and your heart rate is the lowest during your entire sleep cycle. So I was I could use this. So what I did first was I looked at the current solutions. So there's a lot of phone apps out there on the market, but there's two main issues with phone apps. The first is that phone apps, you have to stick them under your pillow, and it detects vibrations. But this doesn't track heart rate, and sometimes vibrations can be a little bit inaccurate. Another issue is you have to have your phone on all night, so you can't charge it overnight, which for me is really an issue. So, why did I choose Android Wear? Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> so, I decided to choose the Android Wear platform to develop my solution. So, why did I choose Android Wear? So, the first thing is I have experience developing Android apps, but I have no experience developing for Android Wear. And to me, this was something interesting for myself to learn. So, also, all Android Wear devices have a built-in gyro to check movement and a built-in heart rate monitor to detect heart rate. Also, they're easy to wear at night, and they have a longer battery life than phones, so you don't have to worry about charging. So going to the project, recognize some issues. The first is the low processing capabilities of the watch, and another is the lack of documentation because of how new of a platform it is. So my plan going into the first research, then develop algorithms for my app, lay out the app, implement the algorithms, then test using a general grogginess rating, and then using tests from human benchmark for reaction time and memory. So going in, I didn't really expect to make an app ready to ship, but more instead for something to test. And if we look where I got, I am done developing the app on my computer, but it still has a lot of bugs and issues and isn't ready to put on an actual device. Because I think I underestimated how long it would take, because I thought, I looked at all the Monday periods, and I thought that's a ton of time. But what actually ended up happening is I didn't really think about 45-minute block periods are really hard to develop an app in. Because... You have to, it may take 20 minutes to get started. So I guess we'll look at where I got. So this is just the first page. You set your earliest alarm time and your latest alarm times for the range you want to wake up and a target time. So if all the conditions are ideal or none of the conditions are ideal. So then here's just a confirmation page to set your alarm. And then this is the page where you are, like when your alarm is running. So you can see there's a clock and then it displays your alarm time. And then lastly, there's a button to cancel your alarm. So while it's on this page, what it does is while you're sleeping throughout the night, it'll check your highest and lowest heart rates and your most and least movements and calculate average sleep cycle time. And then from this, once you're within the range, it will use the highest and lowest heart rate and the highest and lowest movement to see what part of the sleep cycle you're in, and it'll wake you up during your lightest point in the sleep cycle. So I guess a big part of 20 time is the learning process. And I learned not to spend too much time on the smaller details at the start, but instead just try to get the ball rolling. Because at the start, I spent a lot of time researching my app and planning out all the, like, oh, you know, there's going to be this here and this there. And instead, I should have just got started. Because once you get the ball rolling, I think it's a lot easier to work on the project. So I also learned a lot about the Android Wear platform and a lot more about Android development. I also learned a lot about sleep cycle and how people sleep. So my plan moving forward is to try to finish my app, and I'm going to try to make it, one, more polished, and two, just to get all the testing, because it probably need a lot of tuning. Because I think a big part of 20 time is not just what you did during 20 time, but what you do in the future with what you did. So last thing is, if I could do it all over again, what would I do? If I were to do it all over again, like I said earlier, I would do less planning and more doing. Because once, if I got the ball rolling earlier, I probably would have worked more on it at home and been able to work more effectively because I'm more interested in the project. Okay, thank you. That's my work